Morning, my friends. It is about a quarter to nine on Monday. We have got the coffee going, and it is a beautiful morning. We're looking at about 52 degrees right now, and um, we'll see what the day brings. Oh, yeah. Got to get this day started. All right, boys and girls, we're going to try and clean up some of the carnage from last night's dinner. Well, folks, weather for tomorrow is looking a bit iffy. So I guess it's going to be imperative that I get my fat butt out there and do some walking today. Hmm. Hey, if anyone's got any advice for a fat man who's old, overweight, and has no willpower, let me know. Hey, speaking of fat, here we have the breakfast of champions. It is a Jimmy Dean's delight. Microwave madness on a muffin. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to dig in. Hey, how many of you like ketchup on your eggs? Comment below. It's probably not good for you, but let me tell you, it is tasty. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good eating. All right, guys, it is time for Mr. Fatty Pants to go take a walk. Off we go. All right, guys, today we're gonna take the Bluff Loop Trail. Uh, it's a three mile trail, according to the map. Easy to moderate, so let's see what it brings. Look out, people. Fat man walking. Now, one thing I will say about this place is that the trails are very well maintained and they are very well blazed. Well, that's an interesting little tree. Now those are my kind of sounds. Now, I'll tell you what, the place I usually go camping doesn't have any trails. Um, this, the network of trails they have here, this is making all the difference for me on this trip. It is making it well worthwhile. All right, guys, this is where the trail splits. Um, I'm going to gamble and take the high side first, and uh, hopefully, I'm making the right choice. Well, there are some ebbs and flows with elevation gain, but so far, it's a very nice trail. As it's very early April, and things are just, just starting to bloom, um, these trails are unencumbered by leaves or anything. I would love to see what this place looks like when everything is full out in bloom. Seriously? I'm too old for this kind of stuff. Well, that was my workout for today. Alrighty, we are back to the split in the trail that made the loop, and now we're heading back towards the picnic shelter. Well, we're not done with it yet, but uh, I'll tell you, this has been a really nice walk. I have thoroughly enjoyed this one. All right, just as a side note, Today is the first day I have ever donned a pair of ex officio boxer briefs. And let me tell you, these things are comfortable. The twig and berries are very happy. Very, very happy. And, uh, yeah, I'm liking them. Alrighty, we're just about to emerge out of the woods. So we're going to call this one done. And uh, I'll show you a little more of the place. Alrighty, so they have this pavilion. Nice little place to gather. 
there's an area with a bunch of picnic tables, I guess for day trippers, coming out and enjoying the park. And then there is this gigantic field. I mean, this is nice. What a piece of land. And the campground is over that way. So that's where we're going. And we're back. All right, guys. That was a really nice walk. I enjoyed that immensely. Whew, hydration time. Ah. Alrighty. Let's see what the GPS has to say. All right. All right. The trip odometer says 3.43 miles. So we'll call that three and a half. That's not bad for an old man. Huh. And again, I didn't die. Anyway, on with the rest of the day. This is probably the healthiest thing I packed for this entire trip. Okay, it is time for the lunch of champions. All right, probably not the best thing for you, but man, some of these are tasty. Um, although, stay away from the regular chicken salad one. It is horrible. <coughs> like, ah, uh, vom. Alrighty, I think I'm going to kick back in the old zero gravity lounger, do a little reading, hey, hey, maybe take a nap, who knows. Yup, this is the life. This is the life. Alrighty, so we have spent most of the day maxing and relaxing, got some reading in, just chilling and enjoying my time. Uh, I think I'm going to head up and take a shower soon. And tell you the truth, one of the great things about camping like this is that I can have as much hot water as I want. I can't get that at home. If I want to stay in there for an hour and just enjoy it, I can do that. Well, guys, <clears throat> according to everything I've uh, read and heard, it sounds like it's going to rain for most of the day tomorrow. So we're probably going to get us a fire tonight. I love me a good campfire. And... To get one going, if you've never done it without lighter fluid or anything like that, you got to get your tinder up and going. And then little by little, I have the firewood staged right now for the fire later. And what you do is you add small diameter sticks and a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger in succession. And you will eventually get yourself a self-sustaining fire. Alrighty, we are showered up and ready for the rest of our evening. I think we'll enjoy a couple of beverages. And then we'll embark on a big eating fest of some all-American camping food. Mm-mm-mm. Cheers. So I'm actually a pretty big Clive Cussler fan. And, um... I'm trying at this point to read all the Dirk Pitt novels in order from the beginning. I own most of them, I've read most of them, but I'm trying to go back and reread them in the order that they were published. And why I'm sharing this, I have no idea. Alright, so let's see if we can't get this fire started. I'm going to start off with some dry pine needles, some leaves, I'm going to throw in some bark. couple of pine cones and I'm gonna get some matches alrighty let's kick the tires and light the fires that's what I'm talking about Our small stuff on first. And go a little bigger. And 
even a little bigger. This will probably take up very well and take the burning good. I'm going to add some more fuel. And we're going to see if we can't get a log to burn. Looks like our log is going to take, hopefully from building up those smaller and bigger and bigger and bigger pieces, it allows you to burn bigger and bigger pieces of wood. That's how we roll. Alrighty, well, so far so good with the Napoleon Travel Q grill. Um, I like it. We ran it once, and we're going to run it again tonight. We're going to make some burgers and some dogs. Whew, God bless America. Fire and hole. Mm. Alrighty. Burgers down. Alrighty, flipping time. <clears throat> flipping time again. Let's add some dogs, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My, it just would not be right without cheese. And that's how it's done. Mm -mm. We are eating now. Woo!